me 20 years later, I'll have a story to share with my grandson. In 2019, Singaporean Wong Wei Long played professional basketball for the CLS Knights, a team that is based out of Surabaya, Indonesia. The Knights compete in the ASEAN Basketball League, or ABL, Southeast Asia's first professional basketball league. Well, I always wanted to go out and have a feel of how imports are being treated. I want to learn about people's, I want to learn about the country's culture. Previously, Wong had spent seven seasons with the Singapore Slingers. The 31-year-old had decided to sit out the 2017-2018 season. Yet, the itch to play professionally was still there. I get a chance to play uh, for Team Adroid Singapore to represent Singapore to play in Malaysia Hoop Challenge. So CIS is one of the team that joined the Malaysia Hoop Challenge. The team manager actually came to me after one of the games in Malaysia Hoop Challenge. He asked if I'm keen. I told him straight that I'm excited. It took us less than two weeks to get the deal done. In financial aspect, what I've gotten right here has an increase of percentage as compared to uh, when I was back in Singapore because that could actually help me to feed my family and I believe that uh, it's a good raise because of my experience in uh, ASEAN Basketball League. When Wang joined the Knights in October 2018, Home for him in Surabaya was a hotel room in Novotel Somatur. I do not really need a big room uh, and, and, and big apartment because I don't cook and what I need is both desk and uh, a mini toilet would do. That same month before moving to Surabaya, Wong married Sofina To. She has been very supportive to, um, towards my sporting career and uh, I really appreciate her a lot. When I first met Willong, he was already a basketball player, a professional basketball player. So, in Singapore itself, rarely would you hear or see Singapore basketballers having that opportunity to even go overseas, out of Singapore to play basketball. Uh, as a partner, as a wife, as, her as his best friend, so... If it's something that he wants to do, which I think that it's um, good for his future, then I'm supportive of it. As a professional athlete, Wong's day-to-day -day is focused on training to prepare himself for matches. He starts his mornings by having a quick breakfast at the hotel before taking a private hire car to training. He trains from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. every day. Wei Long is very important for us because he's an experienced player, number one. And then number two, he gives me a lot of confidence as a coach because I know that when the game is close, uh, when the pressure time comes, he can make a big shot for us. I feel that my role is to fill up what they are missing. I don't only look at uh, my stat sheets, but I also look into sharing more with the um, local players who are way younger than me. What does it mean to be a professional? First, you have to take care of your body, uh, eat clean. Sometimes in Indonesia, it's very difficult to eat clean, but I will try my best to have more fruits uh, rather than oily and salty food. Second, you really have to see uh, what the team needs from you. You have to really put in uh, more effort, especially uh, uh, an ASEAN player like me. Uh, we are not as talented, we are not as fast as um, people in, from America. The crowd was amazing. It's really an amazing feeling that how genuine and how sincere, uh, how crazy, how passionate the fans in CLS is. The Knights reached the 2018-2019 finals of the ABL. Played over five games, a trademark three-pointer by Wong in the fourth quarter of Game 5 set the Knights on the path to win the first ever championship.
Winning against my previous teammate feel a little bit uh, awkward, but I, I enjoy every moment uh, when I was in CLS. So winning the championship for the organizations is um, definitely a plus point for me. With the first championship now under his belt, Wong's thoughts turn to his future in the game. Uh, probably I'll, I will need to start to think about settling down and work on what I need to work on uh, with my work, with my basketball academy and see how I actually can, could grow more um, new generations of young elite players. That's actually my focus right now.